It's truly amazing That spirit of Christmas Good morning. You can hear me watching Christina of Chelsea Yarns. Let me just put that to a stop for a minute. I am currently working on preparing some gebratene Kartoffeln for the girls, some potatoes on the stove uh, for breakfast. It's not a German food for breakfast. Germans would eat this for lunch or dinner, but me being an American, <laughs> hash browns we have for breakfast, and these are not hash browns, but still, it's kind of like a German version of hash browns without being that at all. So that's what I'm preparing for the girls. I love making cozy, comfy, warm, homemade breakfast on the weekend, even during school days. I love when I make the time in the mornings to do that and they love it too. So time to keep going with peeling the potatoes. Today is the day of changing clothes. Hast du gewusst, Kabo kann sogar mich an. So stark. Mama, du bist ja mächtiger. Mama, ist mein? Ist ja gut? No, yours has pickles inside. A little after school snack. Look at, they're looking at you. Do you like his eyebrows? Please oh, eat, please eat your oranges. They are delicious. You mean girls? No, they are really good. You want a nice snack? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just received a fun parcel in the mail. Wild and Wooly Knitted Animals, a naturalist's notebook. I totally forgot this was coming. Sarah Elizabeth Kelna, the woman who wrote this book, contacted me ages ago and asked if she could send it to me. She thought we would, I would love looking through it. She thought the girls would love looking through it. Did you guys look through the whole thing? Did you? You did. You looked through a bit though, didn't you? And Ruby told me a list of, I don't know, five, six, more? 10? How many? 11 or 12. I can 10, 11, or 12 animals that she wants me to make her. And then she said, when's my birthday? For the bat, for birthday time. <laughs> it's really cool. So I haven't really had a look through it, a good look, but I've quickly browsed. And now I'm going to slowly look through it. I did see the bird and that is really cool. Did you knit each single one of them? Yep, she designed them. Oh, that was tasty. So I am headed downstairs into Robert's office because I'm going to fix a Ruby's backpack. I'm at least going to try to see if I can fix it. So Ruby has had this backpack for not very long and it is not an inexpensive backpack. Backpacks aren't cheap. <laughs> And this whole thing here has come off. However, there's plastic in here. So Robert's like, do you think you could sew it together? I guess we can only try, right? I might break my needle, but at least I tried. I hope I can fix it. it would be a pretty big bummer if I couldn't. <clears throat> so then after I do this, I am going to dye the second half of that sock set.
Yoo-hoo, it worked. Did my machine like it? No. It tried to stop me from sewing numerous times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the two recipes that I finished dying yesterday because it is so easy to not do that. It's such a simple thing to do, writing down your dye recipe, but I, I don't know. It, it always is just like an extra step for me that's like, oh, I don't want to write it down. Finished, and that was easy. All done. I'm just gonna close the oven, turn it on. Robert and Edody are doing homework right now, so I'm guessing he'll be down shortly to pop that in the oven for me. I just listed all of those nutcracker kits to the shop. I don't even know if I shared them with you, but they're really fun. I have a lot of different choices for charms. There's the pink nutcracker, the green nutcracker, a Christmas cottage, a couple of different snowmen, because I thought that those would be pretty popular, so I thought it'd be fun to have different options for the different, um, kids. So now it's time for me to see what I want to make for dinner. Let's have a look. We bought a bunch of these with a different meal in mind and we already made that meal with something else. I know I'm being very back. So I'm going to make something up with it right now. you guys, I am heating up both of the girls' warmies. Adody has a B, Ruby, let me grab hers out, still needs to go up, has a koala. These are uh, kosher so, uh, stuffies, and they're filled with lavender, and it's like a kind of spelt. I'm not sure if that's what it's called in English. And um, you microwave them and they smell like lavender and they're really warm. So the girls always bring those to bed with them. We make them warm every night before they go to bed. And it's just super cozy. It's part of their bedtime routine that they do. So I'm heating both of those up for the girls. I'm going to go to bed with Ruby, not asleep, but I'm going to be um, reading her a story. Tonight, Elodie will be staying up a little later. That I don't think has ever happened. Elodie has a speech tomorrow on Cleopatra and she and Robert have been prepping for it the last four hours, maybe. So they're going to do that. I'm going to go and snuggle up with Rubes and read her Christmas story. And uh, yeah, then probably spend a bit of the evening with Robert. So I will say good night to you guys. Thank you so much for coming along today, yesterday, the day before, all the while that you guys have been here. We appreciate it so, so much. We hope that your December has been a really nice one so far. And um, we can't wait to share the rest of ours with you.